Hey everybody, today I am actually back in my hometown of Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. And today I am excited to vlog a spot that I have wanted to vlog for a while. I filmed it in some kind of home vlog, lifestyle vlogs over the years, but today I'm excited to actually do like a proper documentation and show everything that this amazing spot has to offer. Today we are at Kitchen Kettle Village. So this is located here in the town of Intercourse, Pennsylvania. Yes, everybody laughs at the name. They embrace the joke inside here as well, but this is a spot, it is basically a shopping village. For all of my Disney people, we actually joke and say that this is the Disney Springs of Lancaster County. You have all the cool food spots, um, shopping venues. It's really adorable. It has that Lancaster County Amish country charm to it. So Kitchen Kettle Village is known for their jams and jellies, and actually the woman who started this establishment, I will go ahead and flash up her name on the screen, but I really highly encourage everyone to look up the backstory on Kitchen Kettle. The woman who created this was very entrepreneurial. She actually, as a young girl, started a jam and jelly stand, just a roadside stand, and then that grew into a storefront and then it grew into this entire shopping village that we have today. So we just got here. Me and the family are going to enjoy the day here. This is always a stop. If this is one of the first videos you're seeing of mine, I now live down in Florida. I don't live here anymore, but anytime I come home, this is always a spot that me and the family love to go to together. So let's go check it out. It also has expanded so much over the years that they now have some shops even across the street that are kind of a part of it also. But yeah, you could definitely do a full day experience here with everything that there is to check out. How cute is this? Little birdies. That is precious. <laughs> okay, we're going to start exploring. I think the first spot that we're gonna go, we're trust me, we're gonna hit all the shops, but I think we're gonna go get food. It's around lunchtime, so we're gonna head into they have a cafe here, the Harvest Cafe. They also have a restaurant, the Klinghouse restaurant. That's another family favorite, but I think we're hitting the cafe today. brochures of everything to do. Who else does this when they travel? I remember this as a kid especially. I was always obsessed with getting all of the brochures. Even when we didn't travel, like I have a feeling we came here a lot and I would just go crazy grabbing all these. So for lunch, I went with, this is their open-faced chicken sandwich. I've had this before. It's amazing, this cranberry relish that they put on top. I think this is their own house made, of course. Yeah, from their jam and jelly across the way and it is so good. Mom went with the same thing. And mom, mom you went with half of the sandwich and, and chicken corn soup. Oh yes, look at that. <laughs> yeah, we've had this before, it's excellent. Okay, that meal was excellent. Now it's time to start shopping. So they have a ton of different spots like this aged and cured meats and cheeses in here. This is the spot I was saying is like the place that started all the jam and relish kitchen. And then you have all of these different spots. One of my favorite is this Christmas shop over here. They have the t-shirt shop. We're going to the gift house first. This is our first shop of the day. They have puzzles. These were always the shops like living here that we'd come to for Christmas and just whenever you need to shop for like a gift for somebody. It's always the type of shops we'd come to. They have jewelry. I remember they had something in here years ago. This is the shout out to my cousin Katie. They had these picture frames. I can probably find the photo of me and her holding these picture frames that had our names on them. <laughs> and then it had like a little description of like what your name meant or like what you were destined to do. And me and her were both like destined for the same thing. And yeah, that was just, I don't know why we found it so comical. But those were in here somewhere. They have these cute little name necklaces jewelry I'm so ready for Christmas I was saying this the other day I'm just over fall and Halloween I just am ready for it to be Christmas <laughs> probably because I do live in Florida and we start Halloween so early but also Christmas is just my favorite I'd rather it be Christmas
Oh, Pennsylvania puzzle. These are the frames, this was it. <laughs> okay, we're continuing down to the next shop. This is the t-shirt shop. We're fast. <laughs> it's cute. I love this brand, the little puppy love. Their t-shirts are so, so soft. I mean, really. This shop is also where you can find all of the comedy t-shirts. Like I said, they fully embraced the town. It's funny because this town used to be a bit more reserved. <laughs> and then um, in recent years, they're just fully embracing it. <laughs> this one's pretty funny. Menorah happens. You talking to dad with me when he said that when he was at um Epcot yesterday. If you would like to plan your next vacation, go ahead and contact my preferred travel agency, 407 and Beyond Vacation Company, for all of your travel needs. Their team of experts would be so happy to help you take all the stress of planning off of you so you just get to relax and enjoy your vacation. You can get a free quote from them anytime at 407vacations.com. Next shop, the Christmas shop. To go with my earlier conversation. I'm always ready. <laughs> I'm always ready for Christmas. <laughs> Have a festivist poll. <laughs> this shop will also, I believe they still do it. Um, if you come in on your birthday, you get a free ornament, which is so cool. Oh wait, it's your birthday. I don't want to say I don't she said, I don't I tell, them. I tell them it's my birthday. Oh, wait, I like just said that. I forgot. We're actually celebrating. Yes, we're on we're birthday. here on my mom's birthday. She said do not, I do not need that little ornament. <laughs> Why not? One and, and, they, and they just they just sit there. They're not well, even like this because they don't have the name on them. Well, I think they did change. Oh, yeah, it doesn't just say happy birthday. I, it's the I'm one that they gave sure you. What it says on it, but I, I don't <laughs> <want> the, <one. laughs> the thing that I love is like specific ornaments that are themed to something. We actually put up five trees. This will be, well, last year too, while we were kind of in between, I was living in Florida, you guys hadn't moved down yet. I just had my Disney tree last year. We have five different trees that we'll put up. This year we're also transitioning, moving into the house, so I don't know. We don't know where we're going. We don't know what Christmas is going to look like this year, but um, yeah, I'm excited to decorate like all of our themed trees again. So we always love things like this and you get ideas for different themes to do. You could do, I always thought that'd be fun in a kitchen or something to do like a whole thing of food. Little crock pot, <laughs> that's cute. There's a, cro Wait, there's a crock pot back there. Oh, some that's sort of cute, that's funny. Pressure. I like the sushi. That's different. These trees right here, do these have a name, these ceramic trees? They're so beautiful. We have a couple that are actually family heirlooms that have been passed down to us, but they've made a comeback, these like vintage little ceramic trees. And I just, I'm obsessed with these. I think they are the most beautiful things. I'd have to get that um, thing that we saw where it's the light plug-in. Oh yes, plug we saw that earlier today. We stopped at Jake's, light. yes. And they had uh, like a night light that was like this. And I said, that'd be just so cute. Like plug in somewhere on the, kitchen counter or something. Oh, those are cute. The little Christmas trees, and yeah, you can find your team. They also have an upstairs. The Christmas section continues. Oh, wow, look at this. Yes, the little night there lights. There is, the night so light. That's what I was trying to verbalize. Oh, look, <laughs> and this one has like the little cardinals in it. We have some of those, don't we, that you got? 
for our little tree? Yeah. Yeah. That's cute. These are so cute. Get one My thing is trees. I love like little trees. Just like Aunt Karen, you know how she's obsessed with snowmen? She loves, always a gift for her is like a little snowman. I love, like I could have a million little trees around, like on mantles, just everywhere. Putting up our decorations. I know. Nothing. Next year. Because <laughs> we were moving out and we were showing the house and everything, so we didn't bother. And now this year, I don't know if we're gonna be in in time, so we'll see. Literally, our house in Florida should be ready to move in around December-ish time frame. So I don't know if we'll be moving in and decorating this year, but Christmas 2024. <laughs> Mom just said we'll have Christmas in January. That's true, yeah. So you go ahead, Christmas in January. <laughs> These are beautiful too. Look at the nativity. It's like a snow globe effect. One of those light, like plug-in ones. Yeah, I like this little room. This is fun. Oh yeah, up here they have a ton of nativities. I think some of these, yeah, look. Oh yeah, made in Bethlehem. This is olive wood from the Holy Land. I actually got an ornament in here one time. There really is just so many ornaments in here. It's amazing. I remember years ago, they still have the hook right there. Remember they used to have the parrot? There was a parrot that was in here for a, for a long time and I always wanted to come up here and talk to the parrot, of course. And they have some Disney things too. Love it. Yeah, if you were looking for a gift for somebody, you really can find an ornament for any interest, anything, any occupation. And then calendars. We love wow. our calendars, but look. Does it play music? It music oh, wow. Open each door. This is like the thing from Christmas Vacation, like one of those advent calendars they keep opening. It's awesome. And then they will personalize any of these here for you. These little things you can get. My next project, I wanna expand my travel tree because right now I have a very tiny tree that has ornaments for my travels, but I'd love to add things like this. Add little cruise ships and just general like beach decor. Okay, I think before we hit the rest of the shops in here, we're gonna go out on the main street, kind of across the way. Also, this is an inn. You can come and stay here. You can look it up on their website. They have actual hotel rooms that you can stay in. We've never done that. I've always wanted to do that. Maybe one day. So you can walk right out the main part of the village and they have more shops over on this side of the street and also all the way up and down that street there's really just it's a full day experience like i said handcrafted furniture and home decor i feel like this place is new i don't remember this spot well it looks like it's closed right now so off we go to another shop they also have a couple spots throughout the village here that you can come to do buggy rides and you can actually do a little tour in a horse and buggy this place is new Ula Bowls. I assume it's gonna be like acai bowls. Yeah. Oh, they have coffee too. So two strawberry banana smoothies and one small. This is really cool. Oh, they have a whole nice seating area. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. This is very nice. Add it to the map, that's cool. Our first time being here, we can add there you go, you gotta stick it Central Florida. Everybody's from Central Florida. <laughs> see if I can get it in there. Close enough. There you go, what color did you do? Pink, of course. We're the pink one. <laughs> there we are, Central Florida. So you go down this side of the street. This is the marketplace shop. So these aren't attached to Kitchen Kettle, but like I said, it's all right across the way.
Okay, we're back across the street now. If I could find a nice old one that's small, because, you know, it's only for that little thing on that table. So it can't be that big, big one. We're crossing the street. Over here, this corner coffee shop is so cute. And there's also a furniture store and kind of like home decor place attached to it. Also, this place is new, Corner West. Oh yeah, let's peek in here first. Smucker's Village. All right, I'll tell you if it's, if it's worth it. <laughs> they have jewelry. Oh, this place is adorable. Oh, how cute is this? I love those things. Let's go upstairs and see what they have. Now we're going to, it's called the Treasure Place, unique furniture and corner coffee shop right down here. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. All this is new. That's adorable. What do you Especially want? a palm tree or anything like that. Beyond right now. You see, I love places like this. How cute is this? You can just keep finding different home decor pieces. It's beautiful. Look at this. You see, this is the type of tree we need. We're in the market for trees. We All of our trees were like 20 years old, our artificial trees. So we're in the market for new trees. This is a beautiful one. I love these window displays right here. It's like Amish country, got the cows out back. Let me see. Oh, that's really nice. It's like um driftwood. Yeah, that's pretty. That's beautiful. Not just that. I was just looking at this driftwood. Really? This is also twenty four ninety nine. The driftwood Christmas tree. Yeah, honestly, look at the tree too. Oh yeah, it's a pine cone. No, it's supposed it's driftwood. Yeah, I know, but it's supposed to be a shape. It's pine it's cone. It's like a Christmas tree. Oh, it's a Christmas tree. Yeah, because there's a star on top. Isn't that cute? Yeah. I want that because that's the aesthetic of the house. It's all beachy. And then this all flows into the little corner coffee house. We're heading back over this side though because we want to go upstairs and see. The things that are upstairs. In the white, right? Because I haven't gotten to see it in person. You and Dad went and got it. I've seen the pictures, but yeah, that's gonna be beautiful. We said Mickey's gonna be living in. Um, <laughs> he likes to find little cubby holes, so he's. That will be where we'll find him probably. Oh. Mama made a friend. A lot of the places here are all dog friendly, which I love so much. I think every place in the world should be dog friendly. That makes me very happy. This is prime time of year to see all the fall foliage, all the colors. If dad was here, he'd be doing the bird cage line. The foliage in Pennsylvania. Ohio's underrated. Oh my god. Okay, this is right here. My favorite thing to do, of course it would be. Hi! You can come and feed and pet the goats. Hi guys. Oh, they're all right here. 
Hello, how are you? You look at that guy on the slide. Hi. 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 Oh, look at the little baby. Hi. You guys are so sweet. And you can see with their tags that they have on the names, there's Ava, Renee, Audrina, Jessica, Bethany, Cammie, and Mary Kate. Hi. Look at you. You're so cute. Hello. Convincing people that they are starving, but they get grain and hay every day. Plus, they have grass <laughs> to eat. So off and around. You're off. <laughs> Do you want your food? Do you want food? Hi. You guys are just relaxing. They're like, the sun's out. This is great. Yeah. Now they're off. Oh, yes. They just this guy's nice little face is There we go. Oh, make this little baby oh. over here once. Oh, no. The little baby. She's Don't trying worry. to find some. a little baby. Oh, she can't get it. Bless her. <laughs> ah, this is going to be for the little baby, okay? Little baby. No, baby. There you go. Mm. Oh, okay. Don't forget this guy over here. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got this some. one here. So I got another quarter. Got another quarter. Yeah, I got two more quarters here. So. <laughs> This little guy's waiting so patient. Look at him. Oh my goodness. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my goats. Me and my goats. These aren't moving over here. I love this little baby. Did you just steal from the baby? Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Somebody over right? here is upset. Here go. Okay, wait, one more. Who needs one? Who's being. Being okay, patient. The last quarter here. Oh, we have another quarter. Mm -hmm. well, we're heading past. That's where the goats were. And over here, they have this old candle barn. And my mom is looking for a collar to go around one of her candles, like a fall-themed collar. That's what those are called, right? Collars. Yeah. Okay. Mom just said you looked it up on Amazon. I was looking They're for candle rings. Dog collars were coming up. <laughs> all kinds of stuff. It's a candle ring. Candle ring. So we need candle rings in the candle barn. Oh, he's handsome. Look at him. Hey, John. Hey, how are you doing? We're making friends with all the puppies. <laughs> oh, this shop is so cool. Come this way. Hello, how are you? Candle rings. Isn't this them? But they're tiny. And they're Christmas. So you need a fall one. Hobby Lobby's where you need to go. Uh-huh, we love our Hobby Lobby. See, everything is Christmas now. Unless they miss the bird. Is that $47? Oh no, that's for that thing. I was going to say. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, now we're heading back into, this is the main part of the village over here. So this is the classic kitchen kettle shops we're about to hit. This building is so cute, the country life. And it has a neat backstory. It actually used to be on the other side of the parking lot and they picked up the whole building and relocated it over here. This is really cute. This is the jewelry bar. So like this whole section here, they renovated pretty recently, I feel like. 
it's been cool watching this place like evolve over the years. They're definitely very trendy now. That's why I said it's the Lancaster County Disney Springs. Like they've really embraced a lot of the more modern things. I've gotten some cute stud earrings in here. This store used to be located like further back in the village, but I remember they had had this promotion before. I think they usually do this a lot. Buy three, get one free. So we did this the one year a bunch of us went in when we were buying like Christmas gifts for people. So, you know, if you're buying in bulk, if you're trying to get like a couple, it's a really good deal. I actually have this pair of earrings in silver. I love it. It's like such a nice little simple piece. In this shop, we always love an olive oil shop, the Olive Basin. They have all the nice balsamics and olive oils in here. Oh yeah, this is very pretty. I feel like they expanded this too. They have little cups you can sample any of them that you want. We also have this place, the Happy Camper, with all camping, all your outdoor goodies. And then this is a classic shop, Deerskin Leather. So now we've circled back to this is the main part of Kitchen Cattle. So we have Pepper Lane fudge in here. You'll see over on this side, we have Mom's Pretzels for our Lancaster County Classic Pretzel. And then I really like the coffee here is really good. The Roasted Rooster Coffee Company. And now we just passed, that's the Harvest Cafe where we started the day off. Now we're actually going to go inside of this place, the Aged and Cured. This is the classic one, Jam and Relish Kitchen. This is what started it all. In here you will just find walls and walls of jams and jellies and salsas and anything canned you can imagine. That was that cranberry relish that we had. This store is massive. I have everything you could want. <laughs> This is the Lancaster gone. County staple, shoe fly pie. So it said that they were placed in the windows and to cool and that's how they got the name, you know, you're going shoe fly, shoe. That's the story of a shoe fly pie. It's basically molasses and what else does it have in it? Oh, brown sugar. Yeah, it's like a molasses brown sugar thing. They are very good. Very, very good. Coming out here in the back, there's a art gallery and also a purse shop. 
We're looking at, this is the new shop. I actually don't think I've been in here yet. Oh, hi, bird. And in the center here, these are classic. These establishments have been here from the beginning. The homemade ice cream, and then this Pappy's kettle corn. That shop looks very familiar. If you look at that font, very familiar. Yeah, we think we're gonna get some ice cream, yeah. In a, in a dish of the chocolate chip cookie dough. So now we're gonna head down to, they have this store, Girls Day Out, which is like a clothing boutique. And then my favorite, is down past that, it's a dog store. Okay, yeah, next up, Paul Prince. The shop's cute. We promised Mickey we were gonna get him a toy. So, here's his little mousy. <laughs> they have custom little doggy treats. Look at the little poop. <laughs> Peanut butter poop. <laughs> Oh, the ice cream. Oh, a Philly pretzel. Now that's adorable. That's absolutely adorable. No, I know that. Try something there, but that we just bought Mickey a little mouse. So now, before we leave for the day, we're gonna go up here to the winery. This is kind of cool. This has only been here for like the last couple of years. At one point in time, this area was actually a dry town, um, like basically like all a kitchen kettle here. But yeah, they've really made a lot of changes. Like I said, kind of the modernization the last couple years. <laughs> I remember there's one in particular Moscato in there that I really, really enjoyed, but I don't know if we're in the season for it. I guess we'll find out. Waltz, that's what it's called, Waltz Vineyard Winery. They have apple wine slushies available to go. That would be good. So yeah, this was the Moscato I remembered from the last time with the peach and mandarin. And then this, she said, had like 10 different varieties of apple that are all locally grown. I tried that one, the crisp apple. That was excellent. And it's cute. I just realized they have a whole outside dining space. You can just get a glass of wine and sit out there. All right, so that is going to do it from here at Kitchen Kettle in Lancaster County. This is a place that I grew up going to and like I said anytime I'm up visiting family this is always a stop off. It was exciting to finally like properly vlog this place. Right now we're getting ready to leave. They close at five o'clock and it's four o'clock right now. I feel like we got here around like 11 or so today. Like we spent basically the entire day here. This is a full day stop off on your visit to Lancaster. It's a great place if you're looking to do any type of shopping, if you're looking for a gift for somebody, there's like so many options based on any type of interest. So yeah, definitely check it out if you're ever in the area. So yeah, with that, make today magical and I will see you soon in the next video.